Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is the second part of the segment of upgrading your Stratocaster. Uh, this video I'm going to show you how to replace uh, the capacitor from this inexpensive stock capacitor to uh, a Mojo Dijon capacitor. Uh, I really like these. I like a lot of the others that we do too. This is uh, a .022 capacitor. So you can use a .047. It's your personal preference really. I'm also going to put a uh, volume mod on the volume potentiometer. We make these. Uh, we, we use a 471 picofarad capacitor with a 220K uh, quarter watt resistor. And we put that between the first and second lug on the volume pot. That does uh, two things. It, it helps the taper of the potentiometer when you roll back. It's much more manageable. Uh, also, it retains your highs better. So when you roll back, you still have that clarity that you need. First thing I'm going to do is remove the old capacitor from the guitar. Here I have a uh, 50 watt soldering iron. Um, I really recommend the hotter the better almost. Uh, anywhere from a 45 to a 60 watt iron really, really works well. Now I'm going to install the new Dijon capacitor. I'm just going to lay it on the top of the pot. Somewhere right there is fine. This will keep it out of the way. You don't want to put it on the side or off to the side where it might not go in the guitar when you try to install the pick guard. So we'll solder exactly like the old one was installed. I'm just going to use the same footprint and uh, reinstall a new cap. Here I'm going to use uh, just some standard thin gauge 6040 rosin core solder. Uh, you know, you can pick this stuff up at pretty much any electronic supply store. Uh, and go ahead and make, make my connections here. Careful not to uh, ground out the, the leg that's going to the, uh, to the tone lug there. Now I'm going to install the volume mod onto the volume potentiometer between these two open lugs. I clipped it short so that we don't have an excess of, of wire hanging out. So I soldered one side only that's going to the switch and I'm leaving the other side open because I still have to connect the uh, wire from the input jack to the center lug. So I don't want to close my solder connection and have to uh, open it back up again. Okay, I have the Stratocaster on the bench. I'm going to install the pick guard back into the guitar. I have three connections to make. I have the ground wire from the tremolo claw. I also have the ground wire from the input jack. And then I have the positive wire to the input jack tip. I'm going to use a polishing cloth. We, we have these microfiber cloths that we sell uh, that uh, are really good for not scratching the guitar. Uh, and I'm going to lay the pit guard on there so that I don't scratch the guitar when I'm working or have solder spit on the guitar. So I've made my three connections back to the volume pot. I made sure that everything was secure on the volume mod. Uh, new capacitor, new magnets. This thing's ready to rock and roll. We're going to go ahead and restring in the next segment. 